in today's video, I'm drawing Catboy from the PJ Masks because, well, I, I felt like it? I don't know. <laughs> so I got my little Catboy figure that my boyfriend bought me a while ago as my reference picture. And I'm just doing some doodles to kind of get a feel of how I might want to draw him. Maybe like the pose and stuff. Also just getting used to drawing all the stripes and stuff. All those stripes can be a little bit tedious to draw, but with enough patience, you can eventually draw them all. <laughs> I'm just doodling these in a sketchbook that I wrote, well, sketchbook notebook from Poundland. It's got some little sea creatures on the front, which is kind of cute. I haven't used this paper in quite a while. I think I've only ever used one sheet before this, so this is my second time using this paper. <laughs> I bought this paper in Edinburgh or Glasgow from a shop called Cass Art, which is an art shop, wow, who would have guessed? <laughs> but yes, this paper is quite nice, but I just don't use it very often, which I should, I should use it more often. The pencil I'm using is a Palomino Blackwing, not, not a Blackwing, it's a Pearl, I mean, they all kind of feel the same to use. I really like the Palomino pencils, unfortunately I don't like the price of them, <laughs> but I do think they are worth the money as they are really good pencils and I don't really use many other pencils anymore. As for watercolours, I'm using the Windsor & Newton Cotman range, which is a student grade watercolour. I have the 32 set, but to be honest, I do kind of regret buying it. I kind of wish I'd stuck with my 12 set for a little bit longer and learnt how to mix colours properly, because right now, my colour mixing is terrible. <laughs> for this drawing, I mostly used colours that were straight from the pans. I did mix a couple of uh, custom colours. In fact, I only mixed one custom colour, which was the skin tone, and aside from that, I just used, you know, straight from the pan colours. So, my advice to you is don't jump in and get some kind of fancy 34 colour watercolour set. Stick with a 12 set and learn how to mix colours properly. You will not regret it. <laughs> As for brushes, I'm using two different brushes for this video, or this painting, same thing. <laughs> the first brush I used was a mop brush, and the second brush I used I think is a size 6, but I'm not entirely sure. I have not looked at what size it is. <laughs> but both brushes are sable hair. Whenever I do watercolour paintings, I cannot stand using synthetic hair brushes. I only use uh, sable hair brushes my watercolour work. It's just personal preference. I just find that they hold water and colour a lot better than synthetic hairbrushes, but you should use whatever supplies suit you best. I haven't actually mentioned in this video yet, but <laughs> I only watch PJ Masks in German. I use it to try and improve my German. I have been learning German since 2012, I think. And since I am now full-time self-employed, I don't really have a lot of time to really sit down and study it like I used to in school. So I guess this is a fun way for me to learn it and kind of relax at the same time. I find that because it's a cartoon aimed at a much younger audience, the characters speak a lot more clearly and a little bit more slowly, so it's interesting to watch as well, like the plot is pretty good 
characters are interesting. I love the characters. It's just a nice little cartoon, just kind of sit back, relax, and learn some German with. <laughs> My favorite character from the show is Gecko, but I also love Catboy and Romeo and Luna Girl. And, you know, I, why don't they just list all the characters? <laughs> I do find it's a little bit more difficult for me to find episodes in German though, so I haven't seen all the episodes, unfortunately. I only watch them via the official YouTube channel in German, so I can only see the episodes they upload. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could probably buy copies of the episodes in German from like Amazon or something, but I don't particularly want to. <laughs> Maybe eventually I will cave in and pay money to watch some episodes, but we'll see. Probably not. <laughs> Other cartoons I like to watch in German are Vampirina, and sometimes I'll watch Paw Patrol in German, but not very often because I don't really like it as much. It's just a little bit too slow for me. I prefer things like Vampirina and PJ Masks because they're still interesting to watch and it's always something's happening in them, whereas I find Paw Patrol's a little bit slow. <laughs> but you know, it's personal preference. I'm almost done with the watercolours and then I move on to inks. I have not used dip pens in god knows how long. It must have been a few years. <laughs> I'm surprised this ink is still okay. I started out with this nib that wasn't really very good, and later on I did switch to a different nib but for a different coloured ink, so I struggled with this nib for all of the line art and then switched to a different nib to line the little lightning stripes. And, oh man, why didn't I just use the second one in the first place? But anyway, I have not used dip pens in ages. I have a collection of inks that I rarely touch, but when I do want them, I do really enjoy using them. So maybe I'll try and make myself use them a little bit more often. I did use them a lot back a few years ago, especially during Inktober, which I don't really do anymore because I don't have time. <laughs> maybe I should do another monthly drawing challenge thing. It would maybe make me do some more illustration work, since I don't really do a lot right now. <laughs> my priority recently has been fursuit work, since that's what, you know, brings money in for my business. So illustration has been more of a hobby and a make merch kind of thing, because I have my red bubble shop that I update every so often, but um, yeah, there's some business ramblings for you. <laughs> but yes, this is the second nib that I used to line the, the lightning bolt things, and honestly, why did I not just use that in the first place? I considered doing the white outlines with silver instead of white, but I thought, you know, the silver ink it's very clogged up, it looks like it would clog up my dip pens, so I decided to steer clear of that. <laughs> I think I only used Winsor & Newton inks for this, it's been a very Winsor & Newton day. I did use my Pentel ink pen to, a brush ink pen to fill in the ears there. And then I decided the background needed something. I didn't want to draw a full background, so I decided to draw a box, or a rectangle, and then take my pen and just draw a bunch of tiny little lines. My hand got really bad cramp, <laughs> but it was okay because it was for art and it looked good, but um, yeah, my wrists have been kind of painful the past few days, so maybe this is part of the reason why. Uh, make sure you do your hand stretches and take care of your wrists because wrist pains aren't fun. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I have been playing piano maybe a little, little bit more than I should have been. 
recently, especially when my wrists hurt. But, you know, I'm learning a new song and like I want to practice, so... <laughs> I should probably chill on the piano playing for a little bit and also try and just not do so much with, like, wrist activities, like drawing and playing video games, you know? Give my hands a rest. <laughs> I mean, by the time this video's come out, I'll probably be fine and not have hurty wrists for a little while until I overwork myself again. <laughs> but anyway, I really enjoyed doing this drawing. I really like how it turned out as well. It's just a simple little drawing, do a little thing. I spent... Hmm, how long did I spend on this? Maybe a couple of hours. Not too long, but not too short either. But I like it, it's, it's kind of cute. It gives me anime vibes. I like the eyes. I think that's probably the reason it gives me anime vibes. But anyway, we have reached the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry I rambled on so much. It is quite late right now. It is uh, 20 to 12 right now, so I need to go to bed. But I hope you enjoyed it. Links to all of my social medias are in the description. Please do not hit the like button as that probably hurts and it's not very nice, so maybe shake his hand instead. With that being said, hope to see you in the next one, and bye!